Hey guys, welcome back to the another episode of the Alphabet Challenge. Uh, we are on the letter U. So U was a little challenging for me. Um, I wasn't sure what to do, to be honest with you. Uh, at least Q, I had an idea that I could go with if all else fails. Uh, U, I was very stumped. And so again, I decided to go to dictionary.com, words that begin with you. And so I just started looking and looking and looking. And finally, I found a word in the eight letter words. It was unpacked. And I thought to myself, how many people have things that they used to craft with from years ago that is packed away somewhere and they don't use it anymore? So I thought that it would be really fun in this particular set of challenge, this word, to, to use unpacked. So take something that you haven't used in years, unpack it, and make something that is usable in your craft today. Not necessarily what you used to use it for. Of course, obviously you could use it for that. But a lot of us are journalers. A lot of us, you know, make embellishments and tags and make journals themselves. So find something that you haven't used in a while and make something with that. So as you guys can see, I have cupcake liners. So I started my YouTube channel like, I don't know, four or five years ago, something like that. Um, I think it was four years ago. Anyway, um, and I started out as just a very general paper crafter. And you can see the dust on this tote. This tote has been on the top shelf of my desk since we moved here. And I haven't touched it. Like, it's just, it's, it's kind of gross, actually. Um, so while I'm sitting here talking to you guys, I'm going to wipe this down. Um... So I used to use cupcake liners. I used to use crepe paper and scrapbook paper and all kinds of stuff like that. And this just kind of goes to show I should dust my room more often. <laughs> I don't dust the super tippy top shelf of my my thingy, my desk. Um, everything else gets used, so it's kind of like, you know, what else? But anyway, yeah. So, oh look, it's all clean now. <laughs> so I pulled out some cupcake liners. And, uh, well, I grabbed pink because, well, I use a lot of pink. I also have green and blue and white and, you know, um, you know, this brown color. We'll grab a couple of those. Uh, and I'm just going to grab a few. And we're going to set this tote down, um, back away because... I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to use exactly. This one's cool. I didn't even open this one. Some gold and white. Grab a couple of those. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just grabbing some stuff. I would really like this gray though. might have been why I bought this. Then again, my style back then and my style today are not the same. Um, I didn't really have a style back then. I don't really have a style now, but I can tell you that they're not the same. That's pretty much all I can say. I was very, I'm not saying that I'm very educated now. I've just, I've been crafting longer at this point. I mean, you craft for four years, and obviously it's going to go further than when you started. Now, that being said, I did not start crafting four years ago. I started crafting when I was very young. My mom used to make centerpieces uh, for, like, weddings and rehearsals and stuff like that. She would make flower arrangements. And so I started when I was very young. And when um, we were in Hawaii, oh, let me start the clock. Uh, come here, clock. Reset. Start. 
So when uh, when we lived out in Hawaii, I would uh, I would use a scrapbook, and that's when I really started kind of diving into paper crafting specifically. Um, and then we moved to New York, and I didn't have room for all the paper crafting. So instead, I decided to pick up yarn work. <laughs> so I started learning how to crochet. So I taught myself how to crochet. Um, and I have not been doing it for very long. But um, I have no idea what I'm doing with these right now. I'm just kind of folding them and seeing what happens. But uh, anyway, so I taught myself how to crochet and that's where the yarn work came from. Um, and let's see, when we moved to Hawaii, I ended up running across this wonderful lady. Her name is Missy. And she literally has that like, I don't care attitude. Like if you don't like what I'm doing, then don't watch. Like it's really kind of awesome. And she's very inspiring because it's like, I, I'm not crafting for you. I'm crafting for me. And she actually inspired me and, you know, persuaded me really to get into like really get into crafting and start a YouTube channel. Um, she even helped me. She walked me through. And this was like, I was nobody to her. And she was still so kind and, you know, very generous. And she had like some, at the time, she had like 3,000 subscribers. To me, that was like, oh my gosh, you're so huge. And you're talking to little old me. What? Like, it was just, it was really cool. So she inspired me to join YouTube to begin with. And she helped me along the way. And she still helps me to, to this day. Like, I had a question on, I don't even remember what it was. But she still helps me to this day. And, I mean, I hadn't talked to her in a minute. But I feel like that's kind of what friends are. You know, we don't have to talk every single day to still be friends. I don't need to know, like, your every move to be friends, you know. And... Like, my best friend in the whole world, I'm pretty sure I haven't spoken to in over a year. Um, I don't remember how I just folded that. but And I don't know what I'm doing with these yet. I'm just inking them and hoping something comes to mind. And that's kind of how this whole thing really works, is you just kind of play with it until something happens. Um, but yeah, so I joined YouTube, and then... I had like a really, really bad anxiety break while we were lived in Washington. And so I ended up not really doing much with the YouTube for about a year and a half. And then I ran across this video from um, Nick the Booksmith. And do y'all remember, uh, you may not remember, you may not have even seen it to begin with, but it was called the Deserted Island Challenge. And you had to pick a certain amount of items. You were given one single adhesive. You were given one single type of paper. Like you couldn't use copy paper and cardstock and vintage book page. And, you know, you couldn't do that. You, you could only use a single type of paper. Um... And you couldn't use digitals. That was that was the thing because you were deserted on an island, so you didn't have you know a printer, a scanner, or nothing like that. Uh, anyway, so she had this challenge, and I was just like, "Wow, that sounds like really complicated. I think I can do it." So I tried it, and I did it, and I recorded the you know the end result. And that was the first time I had really recorded in over a year and a half. And she, like Nick, actually commented on my video. And I was like, what? And y'all know how big Nick is. Like, she's, she's, a, she's a pretty big deal, you know? And so I was just like, what? She noticed me. 
Like I was kind of freaking out. So I was like, all right, this is kind of cool. So I just kept going from there and I kept watching more of her videos. And then I found Gail and she is like, I don't remember if it was like a combination of Nick, like getting me back into YouTube or Gail, like introducing me into the world of junk journals specifically. But it was, it was kind of cool the way that it all happened. And that's how I ended up where I am now. And over that process, well, these little cupcake liners kind of got lost in the, in the shuffle. So we're going to bring them back out. We're going to see what we can do with them because they're pretty neat little guys. And I mean, as far as a craft supply goes, you can do a lot with a pack of cupcake liners. And I mean, you can get them at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and you've got like a bajillion cupcake liners. It's a little crazy. I kind of like that. I might do that with the rest of them. Spent seven minutes here just inking stuff, trying to think of something to do with these that have to do with like journaling. But that's kind of like the process, you know, is you don't really know where you're going to go with it. So you just start picking stuff up and you just go. And I think that's one of the great things about this particular challenge is, you know, you just, you start the clock and you go, you know, yeah, just get my hands are completely brown from this ink. <laughs> that's so funny. Like, look at my hands. Yeah, I probably don't want to look at my nasty hands. I don't have pretty nails anymore. I still haven't like ventured out into society yet. I'm not that brave. I just, I stay at home. Like we went out for Haven's graduation and that was it. Like, I kind of like that. I really like that. All right, let's see. Um, where are you, scissors? All right, we're gonna fold you in half, and we're gonna catch you. Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's kind of tag or something to play with, or throw stuff in the floor. That works too. All right, that's kind of cool. I like that. All right, so let's see. I think I'm gonna glue all the way down. Although that would be kind of cool to write on. Uh, oh, ah, that's not yet. Okay, so. I'll take like this one. We're going to glue it down. And I'm using Fabri-Tac because this is super light paper. And Fabri-Tac will not warp your paper. It's one of the reasons I started using it a wee long time ago. Um, was because it wouldn't warp your paper. Because I would make uh, photo albums. And there for a while, I was making them, but the paper was getting worse. And I need to whip this up some. So, you yeah, actually move that like that. All right, hold that. Urgh. So anyway, I was making um, photo albums, but I didn't like how my paper was warping. So, um, who did I start watching? Uh, oh, it was uh, Jennifer, Genevieve Designs. And she like 
that's all she used was Fabri-Tac. And I was like, what is this stuff? So I bought some and I've been using it ever since. It is just the most awesome thing ever. Especially if you want your papers to be flat. Like obviously as journalers, we like dimension. And so the warped papers really aren't that big of a deal. They're actually wanted. Um, now that's kind of cool. Maybe we should just leave it like that. Uh, I think we're going to glue it down. All right. Oh, that is way too much glue. Nope. Problem solved. Fabric tech is awesome. You just rub it off. Okay. So we've got this little design down here. Um, I feel like we should put something right here. We've got this little that's kind of cool. Um, oh, I think that's better. Yeah, I like that better. Um, <laughs> die. <clears throat> oh, my voice is all scratchy and whatnot and crazy. Oh, that one's pretty. I like that one. Let's go with that one. Let's stick with that one. Let's go over there. Okay. Hold that. All right. And these were made a while back. I just, when I can't think of anything to do, <laughs> I will just sit here and make little cluster thingies. Big, small, you know, whatevs. Or, like, I was making a project for a friend of mine, actually a couple of them, uh, a couple projects, I mean, and when I was done, I was just like, you know, I wanted to keep going. So I did, and that's how I ended up making these. Um, let's see. Actually, let's put you right there. Okay. All right, we're going to flatten out a little bit. And so what you do with this is take it here and you just kind of twist it. And you open it all back up. And then it lays flat. Er. Um, yeah. So remember guys, the theme for today is unpacked. What are you going to bring out of storage or your hidey hole or your closet or whatever to create with? I made it too small. I have to open it back up. What did you start crafting with that you no longer use anymore? Oh, that's really cool. I like that. All right, we're going to, yeah, we're going to fabric tack this one too. Why not? It's out. And it doesn't burn me. <laughs> it does stick to my fingers and get all over the place, but. All right. So, what do you think? I think it turned out pretty good, actually. Hmm. Alright, so we're not going to do the dealios because we just spent 15 minutes doing one tag. Um, Alright, so let's see. That may not be good enough. Alright. Um, all right, so 
we're going to make a little card here. And it can be anything. It could be made into a um, paper clip. Or it can be used for... Actually, that'd be kind of fun to make it into a paper clip. We're doing it. Alright. Um I need my paper clips. Get here. I need not the binder clips. Um a larger one would be nice. And I get these teeny tiny ones. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, there we go. That works. And um, this is actually like a bathroom organizer. Uh, you can get them all over the place. Dollar Tree, uh, Walmart, Amazon. All right, so I'm just going to put the paper clip right there. And then I'm going to glue across the top. Because I'm not sure how far down this goes. This side. And there we go. Now I can kind of see where the glue goes based off of the liner on the other side. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Still, I haven't gotten those um, bottles yet. I think they were supposed to come in several weeks ago, but they're not here yet. So, who knows? I'm going to put you there. I am going to go back to that glue on the lace. I have enough fabric tack on my fingers. Oddly enough, I'd rather deal with the hot glue on my fingers than the fabric tack. How crazy is that? The hot glue peels right off. And my fingers are not really that sensitive to hot glue anymore. Certain spots on my fingers are, which is kind of funny. Um, but probably should have just wrapped this email because I can't wrap it that way. That's just silly. And I'll close my little paper clip. So let's go back and do this. I am so going to run out of time.
this one, I really love this list. And we are going to wrap it this time. <laughs> okay. And across the bottom. I kind of want you poking off the side just a little bit. There we go. And across this bottom. Actually, I'd probably be a better idea to do it this way. Weep. Weep. thingy down. Alright. Okay. So far, so good. We're just going to glue this straight down. No pocket this time. Okay. And then this side, we can do, we're going to make a much smaller circle here. I'm just going to scrunch it up in the middle. Until it gets about the size that we want it. So now we have a hidden paperclip. Okay, so now we have a tag and a hidden paperclip. And more of these things to use. All right. Um, yeah, I'm so lost right now. <laughs> Uh, oh, there's a little teeny tiny tag. We'll use one of those. We'll use one. Yeah, it's one. Oh my gosh, I have glue everywhere. Along with ink and everything else. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, that really didn't do much because it's already brown. not glue paper with hot glue, like paper to paper. I have four minutes left. <laughs> okay. 
Alright. Let's see. We no. Uh let's see, what do we have here? Ooh. Look at that. That would be nice. With the little fan dealio. Although, it might actually be better. With. Oh, come out, come out. All the way around. That is so adorable. Okay. Right. Can you even put it upside down? Like that. That is so cute. I like that. Such a cute little tag. By the way, ready-made embellishments are amazing. If you haven't already done so, make some. Just make little clusters with fabrics, with uh, scraps, with papers, with fabrics. It doesn't matter. Cupcake liners. I actually ended up not using the pink. I just stuck with the browns. Which, you know, go figure. But hey, I used up the liners. Um, I made three things with my unpacked craft supply. So this one here, I actually used it underneath. So you can still kind of see it, but it's used to hide the paper clip. But I also used it here too. So let's do it this side, that way you can see each one. We'll put the rest of these in here. And, oh, I missed some. I didn't even use the gray at all. I didn't use the pink or the gray. I only used the white and the brown. All right, let's turn the timer off before it yells at us. So we have a minute and a half left. But to be fair, that last one was super quick because as soon as I put it down, I was like, ooh, that'll work. Okay, so that is T for tag. Um, let's see, what's the next letter? U, S-T-U. Um, well, unique. Uh, oh no, it's not T for tag. I'm silly. We already did tag in the last video. This was unpacked because these aren't even tags. This is just an embellishment. This is a paper clip and this is, well, this one's a tag. But so we did unpack. See, that's how hard U is. I didn't even realize we did U. Anyway, um, the next letter is going to be V. Uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that we'll probably do vintage, um, but it ain't uh, it's most likely going to be vintage. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.